what's going on youtube welcome to my youtube channel dude <laughs> this is gonna be a funny video so i was just i've had this stapler i don't even know where i got it from it's from my grandpa i mean it's from my dad when he owned a business but this thing's been around and this thing is old so i looked it up on ebay um, I can't remember the last time I actually used a stapler. And if I have used a stapler, I have another one. I think my Allstate insurance agent gave me a couple one time when I used to recommend them to my clients. But here is an old vintage made in the USA swing line green vintage stapler. And this thing is heavy, guys, and it's actually made in the USA. Here it is. It's actually all metal. There's no plastic. It's all metal stapler. It's heavy uh, to the tune of here. We're going to do a little weighage here. So we got it on grams, 522.8 um, grams. You guys can't see that. That's bad videoing. Uh, here we go. So 528 grams. So if we do this in, well, screw this scale, it's for coins. Let's get the big scale out here. This is my male scale that I've used forever. And where are we at here? So for us Americans here, one pound and three ounces for a freaking stapler. And yeah, I got staples in it, but they don't weigh that much. So anyways, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting video. Um, they do sell for 20 bucks plus someone charged $16 for shipping. You don't believe me? Let me show you. So here is the listing vintage swing line 747 stapler. Someone got 20 bucks plus $16 in shipping. Dude, it don't cost no $16 to ship this stapler, but... Um, I believe this is the same exact stapler I have here, which is great. So I think I can get close to maybe 30 bucks. Um, I might even offer to ship this in a small flat rate box priority, which is a whole $7.99. So I could probably get 25 bucks out of this. So in this video, <laughs> we are going to refurbish the stapler. Now it works perfectly fine. So here I've got some... We got some paper here. We do have some staples in it, and it's in the wide mode here. So it does the staples in the back like this. Um, you have to push this lever here to open it up, and you can flip the thing here to normal staple mode. And then when you staple, oh. Well, that didn't do a very good job. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. There, that's a nice clean staple. So anyways, guys, those of you who like to collect coins and typically watch my channel, you um, like to use a stapler to staple those uh, carded coins that have the little screens in them. I hate those things with the passion, so I I do not like them at all. I despise them. I think they, um, I mean, they're a nice, cheap way of conserving a coin, but, you know, I am definitely the modern Mylar, you know, the guardhouse things here, um, you know, this, and then, yeah, I got the paper here so you can write on the back of what, you know, what kind of coin it is and the mintage and all that stuff. But there's a ton of you, and I get it. Like, you you started collecting coins, and you staple your coins into uh, the holders. So why not get a really cool vintage stapler that'll work every single time? So now we're going to refurbish this. We're not going to get too crazy. So we're going to have, first we're going to put a microfiber towel down and we are just going to take some of dr stormy's calamity rounds no that was just a sticker he gave me shout out to empire precious metals but we are going to just basically wipe this down uh, we're not going to do the bottom here but if you notice here there is some tape here and alcohol is excellent at um, removing tape and we're just going to make this nice so that the next buyer who gets this or the next owner, um, wow, this tape is probably older than me and I'm 48 years old. I know the stapler is probably older than me. So my guess is it's like over 50 years old. So it's too funny to me that an actual 
stapler <laughs> it's worth as much as a silver round <laughs> um but again it's like you know how many of these survived how many of these end up in a landfill all right well that's not coming off so we're probably not gonna do that on video but we can we can do everything else here so yeah you have reached my page and you're watching a dude clean a vintage stapler <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a little toothpick action here, get in, get in the little grooves and looks and crannies. Uh, yeah, that's nasty. It's been a long time since anyone's done this. This probably has all kinds of dust or cigarette smoke. My uh, father was a heavy smoker, so if this was in his office and this was the stapler he used to uh, do payroll and whatnot, why am I pulling this? You have to push the lever, dummy. There we go. Um, chances are this is all original. I wouldn't call this patina. I would call this disgustingness. Oh man, what is that? There's like a string of whatever. That's nasty. But this thing's just been uh, in my office, uh, on my desk. And like I said, I cannot remember the last time I ever used this. even though it is a super nice stapler, like nobody, nobody, like I don't do paper documents really anymore. And like I said, I, when I archive coins, I'm not stapling anything. I keep them far away from my coins. All right. So let's get in here with the actual microfiber here. Look at that. Look how nice that is now. Um, get a little action in here. So this way it'll be all nice, nice and neat for the next buyer. So when people buy stuff from me, I don't like to send them dirt and disgustingness. I want them to be happy. Um, I mean, maybe some people enjoy cleaning stuff, but I don't want to have someone that's going to pay 20, 25 bucks for a stapler. I don't want them to be like, oh, this is gross. So look how nice that turned out, right? Look at that OG green. That is some thick paint. And this actually reminds me too of what the co color of cars would be back in the day. And I remember always being told by my father that the green car is the worst investment because it's the ugliest. So a green car was always worth much less than a normal car. A normal color car like white or black or whatever and then yeah we'll work on this tape later but to get tape off of stuff without peeling the paint off you kind of just have to keep applying alcohol let it do it let it do its thing and eventually it should come off slowly but surely we don't want to peel paint off here but you can use a fingernail here work that out And I probably put this piece of tape on here back in the day. This is some really, really, really old tape. Probably the old 3M kind. Or scotch, right? Was it scotch tape back then? So when you use a fingernail uh, instead of an actual like knife, you're not going to cut into the paint and ruin a finish of something old and vintage like that. So it's, it's almost off. It's working its way. So if you guys run across one of these staplers and don't ignore it. So if you find this at Goodwill um, or at a garage sale or, you know, someone's office clean out, maybe you even find something like this in the dumpster. Uh, don't overlook it because someone wants to own a nice vintage stapler. Almost gone, see? Just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of work. A little bit of action, almost there. One little piece left, we're gonna use our fingernails. Get that off, look at that. Now that old tape that's probably over 50 years old, that's well, probably not that old because it'd be yellow, is now gone. And here, everything again. 
Made in the USA, Swing Line Inc. 94-41 is the model. There is a patent number. Uh, they also have patents for the UK and Canada. So this is this bad boy is worldwide. Uh, this probably is like original rubber. Probably not the greatest to put alcohol on that. And then here it's got clear instructions, lift cap to load and lift cap to load on both sides. So you can lift that up like this. And this is what the inside looks like. So swing line, 100% round staplers use swing line staples. So it even tells you that's probably real copper too, believe it or not. You will never see that <laughs> in a newer stapler. So pretty cool that they actually use what appears to be copper. And these staples that are in here are probably not that old. Uh, get those out here. And that's what it looks like inside. So again, it tells you a bunch of times, use genuine swing line staples for best performance. Uh, you probably can use some thicker ones in here. Uh, what the heck, let's get in here. Let's get any junk out of here. Although it shouldn't be very dirty in here because this is where you put clean staples. And, and there we go. So now we have a nice refurbished stapler. Um, I probably shouldn't ship it with staples, but it's not like rocket science. So if you've ever jammed a stapler before, I'm going to hold this because that thing, that spring is really, really tight and it's strong. So let's do this. Got our staple out. Now it's ready to go for the next user. So again, guys, I know you're watching a video about a dude showing a vintage stapler and I just refurbished this. I'm gonna list it on my eBay store. If one of you guys that enjoys my channel wants to buy this, I won't uh, make fun out of you for using this to archive your coins. I just personally, um, I'm not from that crowd. I'm into the Mylar and it, it's more or less too, I don't like to sell coins that are in those little card holders uh, cause that I feel doesn't show the actual raw coin itself. But if you guys wanna use this for your staple needs, it is a great item and it's heavy. <laughs> they do not make these like, uh, they do not make staplers like this anymore. So very cool stapler. I'm probably gonna put a link in my eBay description. So if someone wants to purchase the stapler, obviously it works perfectly fine and you just watched me refurbish it. So as always guys, appreciate you guys watching my channel. I'll check you out the next one. Um, Hopefully I'll have some nice coins to review um, and not a old, boring, vintage stapler. But let me know in the comments, did you ever own one of these? Um, do you have that famous red one from that movie Office Space? Have you even watched the movie Office Space? Do you even know what I'm talking about? But this is definitely cooler than the red stapler. And Milton would probably burn down the building if you didn't give him this stapler. Um, this one's cooler. All right, talk to you on the next one. See ya.